time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, aka Barnacles. And if you guys are anything like me, you cannot stand it when telemarketers and scammers call your home telephone number. Now, this morning while I was in the shower, just really, really getting into my music. Yes, I have a radio in my shower. Most people do, right? And I'm covered head to toe in suds. The damn phone rings, the home phone rings. So what do I do? I push the door open, run across the floor, scare the crap out of my cats, fly around the corner into the kitchen, and by the time I get there, the answering machine had already picked up the call. So I go ahead and let the answering machine finish with the message, because normally at that point I'd know who's calling and I could pick up the phone, and lo and behold it's, Hello, we are calling from card services to tell you about a new deal that we have with some credit card you don't own. Yeah. So at that point, I take my soggy ass back into the shower, rinse off all the soap, and the whole time I'm thinking about, damn it, this seems like it happens every other day right now. There are so many telemarketers, political canvassers, and everything that are calling my phone every single day. And then I got a little light bulb over my head. So while I was in the shower, where all ideas do happen, I figured out that the telemarketing programs that they use that call all these numbers to figure out if they can get a hold of a human all do something, and that is they check to make sure that there is a human on the other side if the phone gets answered. So what I thought about is what would happen if I made my answering machine message a carrier tone from a 56K modem? Now, my thought process behind this is the system is going to realize that it's trying to handshake with a modem on the other side of the phone line, and it's gonna blacklist the number so that it will never call it again, because at that point, it's a waste of resources for them. Now, this should just as easily work using a fax carrier tone or a 9600 baud tone or a 56K tone. That much probably doesn't matter, because I'm sure their system is so low tech that it's literally looking for any tone that would be considered any kind of carrier or handshake, and it's gonna blacklist you off the list. Now, what you're gonna need to do is tell your friends and family that when they call, they're gonna get a very, very obnoxious computer tone for a little while, but if they just hang in there, they can leave a message afterwards. And you can even add a message on the end of the carrier tone, because chances are the telemarketing system's gonna be smart enough to hang up and blacklist your number long before the handshake finishes. Now, I realize we're not gonna be using a real modem to answer the call, although if you have the option to do that, absolutely use it. So we're not gonna be generating a real handshake. We're just gonna be producing the tones from one, hoping that it's enough to fool their system. All right, well, I looked around online for 56k modem handshake sound and I was able to find one. Unfortunately it still had the number dialing sequence in with the rest of it and I just wanted the carrier tone so I took it into Adobe Audition and edited it down to just the core carrier tone. Listen. <laughs> Sound familiar? that 56k all right so i may have had that turned up way too loud but the idea being is that first initial handshake should generate enough random frequencies and noise that their system will count this as a dead number and remove it from the list now i will have a link to the sound file down in the video description so that you can just download it and put it on your phone and then play it back as your voicemail message to record it and that's what we're going to do next all right, so the next step is to get the sound onto your device. Now, for me, the easiest universal way to do that is literally just to email the sound to yourself and open the email on your phone, be it Android or iOS, and you just save it locally. And now we have a portable version of the sound. All right, let's go stick it on my answering machine and see how it sounds. Say hello to my awesome Panasonic cordless phone. All right, I haven't recorded a message on this thing for a while, so I'm not even sure where to start. Let's uh, let's see if we can get into a menu here. Okay, so on this particular model of phone, you have to record the message using the handset. So I found the option. So it says record now, yes. Now, I want to align the microphone on the bottom with the phone here, and the speaker on the iPhone 6 only on one side on the bottom. So I want to line them up about like this. So we're going to go ahead and select it and wait for the tone and then record it. Ready? Record greeting after the beep. If you're still around after that, then please leave a message. All right, now I'm gonna call my home phone from the cell phone and see how it sounds. Call Jerry Berg, home. Calling Jerry Berg, home. Here we go. I can hear it ringing. I think it picks up on the fourth. I'll put it on speaker so you guys can hear it. If you're still around 
after that, then please leave a message. Well, I'm not a telemarketer, and it looks like it works, and now I'm speech jamming myself. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this very simple video on how to detour scammers and telemarketers from ever calling your phone number again. Now, granted, this isn't an ideal solution because if some of your friends call the house, they're gonna think it's a modem too and they might think that they have the wrong number. So the only way this is gonna work is if you only screen calls to voicemail that come from a number that you don't know or you inform all your friends and family to listen all the way through the carrier tone so at the end they get the actual message in the beep so that they can leave a message. But I suspect that just by playing these tones back, you're going to confuse the system on the other end and it's going to think that there's actually a data point on the end and it's not a voice line and therefore remove you from the list. Now, I will go ahead and update this video after a couple of months and see if I see any kind of reduction in the call volume that's coming in because I suspect a lot of these telemarketers share the same lists and call the same numbers and use the same database. So all it's going to take is a couple of them removing me from the master database and everybody else should get the picture. Now, one other thing you can do too is shortcut the sound file on your phone so that if you do answer your phone, don't say anything. Wait for the other party to talk. Now, this will happen. If somebody calls you like your mom or something like that and you don't say anything, she's eventually gonna say hello. Now, you're gonna be able to tell from the tone if it's a computer or if it's a message or something like that. If you start hearing the computer message, pull out your phone, stick it up to the handset, and do it manually. That way you don't even need the recorder at all. You can also take the sound file and set it as the voicemail message on your phone, which will even give you a clearer representation of the sound. Now, don't worry about the sound quality too much because a modem handshake is actually conducted over a phone line, and the original modems even used phones cupped onto a base to transmit the sound. So the quality is expected to be pretty bad. And we're not going for a high bandwidth connection here. We're just going towards fooling the person on the other end or the computer on the other end into thinking that this is a fax line or a modem line so that they will remove it from the list. Now the nice thing is the scammers like to call you as a human being. Now when it answers and starts playing the sound, the scammers are going to immediately be like, oh this is a fax modem, remove it from the list. So I think that this is a great idea. I hope that some of you guys implement it. I would love to know if this decreases your amount of crazy calls over the next couple of months. So please comment down below ongoing and moving through time so that I know if this is actually getting us anywhere. And at the very least it's actually a hell of a funny gag. And I think it's hilarious when people call your phone and they, they, they think they're talking to them. Modem. All right, guys, as always, come over and follow me on Twitter. I am at Barnacles. If you have any further questions or recommendations for future videos, leave them down in the comments. I know you guys have been really loving the Jerry Rig and the DIY Gasm series, and I'm going to go ahead and place this on the DIY Gasm side of things because it's just a quick and dirty way to use a sound file and a couple of devices to de detour the scammers and the telemarketers. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Wait, so you're Microsoft and you, and you noticed that I had a virus on my computer? Okay, all I have to do is give you complete remote access and you should be able to fix it up for me and all I gotta do is enter my credit card number? That sounds pretty legit. All right, here, let me wrap up this video real quick and I'll give you full root access. All right, cool, hold on. All right, guys, see ya. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also, come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.